Hey guys, my name is Christina Rice. I am the founder of Own Noir, which is a social wellness community for black women and women of color who are dedicated to living well from the inside out. Pre-COVID, we hosted wellness retreats around the world, Bali, Grenada, Barbados, Arizona, and so much more. Hosting wellness retreats is my heart work, but teaching people how to manifest through future journaling is my soul work. And that is what we are gonna talk about today. I am so excited to be here with you for Push Your Wellness. Before we get started, are you a future journaling pro or a newbie? I want you to post that in the comments. So just put pro or newbie. If you're a pro, this is gonna be a refresher workshop. If you're a newbie, it is going to blow your mind. I am gonna change your journaling routine from here on out. Okay, so I found out that I was uh, a future journaling pro or that future journaling is my magic manifestation sauce in 2018. It is when we started Om Noir and I future journaled our entire year. And when I tell you everything that I wrote down came true. I mean, everything came true. And from then on out, I was like, I have to teach people how to future journal. So our workshop is broken up into three parts. First is crafting your I am statements. Second is your life's mission statement. And then the final part of our workshop is my future journaling tools, tricks, and hacks. Let's get started. So now crafting your I am statements. So your I am statements is the zoomed out view of your life. A year from now, two years, five years, or 10 years from now, it is your ultimate life vision and it is also your destination. And so your job, your one job, is to create the roadmap to get to those final destinations. So for instance, so I am, again, is who you declare you are, who you are becoming, who you want to be. And so for instance, I'll share some of mine. I am a multimillionaire, wellness entrepreneur, author, coach, and speaker. I am the owner of a beautiful beach house in Grenada. I am the founder of a home collection that is sold in a national retailer. And so you can have as many I am statements as you want, as you desire to have. And again, what they are is your ultimate life vision. So every day, and what we'll talk about it a little bit later, is your incremental manifestation is what are you gonna do, the actions that you are gonna to take to get to that destination. I am a multimillionaire wellness entrepreneur, coach, author, and speaker. So in the comments, I want you to declare one I am statement. It could be anything. I am the owner of a beautiful home in San Francisco, or I am a three times best-selling author, Put that in the comments right now. Let's speak truth to power. Let's hold ourselves accountable and also just speaking it into the universe. So now that you have crafted your I am statement, at least one, you'll work on this, of course, after our workshop. Now we're gonna work on your life's mission statement. So when you are crafting your life's mission statement, you don't want to include any titles, wife, mother, teacher, entrepreneur. Those are titles that have been assigned to you. This exercise is reimagining your life outside of work and relationship. Again, any of those titles and declaring who you are at the core of your being. I'll share mine. The ultimate vision for my life is to be a healer, a light seeker, a truth teller, an access point for women and men of color to heal, flourish, and glow, to model joy, power, compassion, and integrity, to give before receiving, to live at my highest point and my highest potential and inspire others to do the same. And again, I didn't put any titles in there. I didn't put wife or mother, anything like that. I declared who I am and my life mission statement 
who I am at the core of my being. So this exercise is a bit tough and you can't do it now because you're going to have to really think about it. But again, your life's mission statement is who you are at the core of your being. So now we are going into future journaling, which is my favorite, favorite thing to talk about. I'm telling you, when I learned that future journaling was my magic, it blew my mind. And of course, when I received testimonials from those who attend my workshops that the things that they future journal came true, it just makes my heart explode. Okay, so this exercise that we're gonna do really quickly, I want you to sit still in a quiet place. Uh, close your eyes and imagine that one thing that you wanna call forth into your life this year. If it's a dream home or a dream car, or if you're an entrepreneur and uh, it is your business growth, just sit still and imagine it in very vivid detail. So I'm gonna use a house as an example, right? So imagine uh, I wanna manifest a dream home this year. I am going to visualize what the neighborhood looks like. What does the kitchen look like? Does it have an island with marble countertops and navy blue cabinets? Uh, what does my bathroom look like? Do I have a double vanity? Uh, my backyard? So I am imagining in very vivid detail what these things look like inside of my home. What are me and my partner doing in the kitchen? Are we cooking together? Are we watching a movie in front of our fireplace? So again, just sit still for a few moments and just imagine that. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up your journal and pick a date in the future. So normally when I future journal, I start with maybe six months from the date that I am imagining what I wanna manifest. So if today is May 1st, then six months from now is a count <laughs> is November 1st, right? So November 1st, 2021. Uh, and so all those things that I am imagining my dream home to have, I write it down as if it is already true. So it feels so good to pick up the keys to my dream home. I am so in love with my kitchen. I love this island. I cannot wait to cook and to entertain with friends. So you're writing down whatever it is that you want to manifest as if it is already true, is already happening in your life. And thank the universe, thank whomever that you pray to or whatnot, thank them for bringing this thing into your life. I am so grateful for my dream home. It makes me feel so good to drive through my neighborhood. Okay, the next thing you do, you write down a plan of action. This is where people uh, forget that manifestation is a culmination of visualization and action. So you can write down all of the great things in your journal or have the pretty vision boards, but you also have to have action behind it, right? So between now and your goal in six months or a year or two years from now, it is time to get to work. So you're gonna write down a plan of action. And this is what we call incremental manifestation. So it's those small goals that you check off along the way. For instance, to have this dream home, I have to have really good credit. So I have a really good interest rate. I need to have a nice amount of savings so that I can do my renovations and uh, furnish my home the way I want to. So how do you get there? You write down that plan of action for me to have the great credit, I need to pay off this bill, I need to pay off that bill. For me to have um, the type of savings that I would like for this home, how much am I saving on, on a weekly, monthly basis? So that is, again, visualization and then action. So the last thing that I wanna add uh, is, this is one thing that people always ask me, how often should I journal? When should I journal? And so, Here's the thing, I, I want you to journal when you are called to do so. Uh, I want you to journal when you imagine that there is a pivotal moment happening in your life. But also, I want you to try to even come up with a ritual. So my ritual, uh, and 
trust me, you don't have to journal every day and I don't always stick to my ritual, but normally I actually journal on Sunday. Sunday evenings, I will light a candle and I will meditate and then I will allow the words to come to me. And it's also my way of mapping out my week. And again, checking off those small incremental uh, manifestation goals to get to the big picture. Uh, and so for you, you know, do what works for your schedule and your lifestyle. It could be early morning. It could be uh, before bed. You can also add it to your calendar. You know, sometimes like on your lunch break, take 30 minutes or 15, however much time you have, and just journal the words that come to you. So to wrap this up in a nice bow, again, manifestation is visualization and action. My practices for the past three years have allowed me to manifest the life of my dreams. And so what I encourage you to do is make this a practice that you uh, incorporate in your life, whether it's a weekly basis or even a monthly. Uh, sometimes even, like I said, when there is a big event happening in my life, I will future journal it. I will even write it down every day on, on the top of my to-do list. There's so many ways to do this, but here's the thing that I want you to know. Speak your truth. Uh, bring in community. Don't be afraid to speak your dreams out loud because guess what? You are telling the universe that you are ready to receive everything that you desire. And then you're also holding yourself accountable. Again, thank you for having me. Uh, I have enjoyed you at Push Your Wellness. And follow me, Christina M. Rice, on Instagram. And let me know how your future journaling is, uh, is manifesting the life of your dreams. I can't wait to hear from you. Thank you for having me.